The following is a presentation of TFNN. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Every trading day, live at 10 a.m. Eastern. Call now, toll free at 877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate your growling and problem with us out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 140, NASDAQ off 94, S&P's down 24, gold contract down $4.20 trading at 1461 an ounce. We get silver down 9 cents, $16.87 an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck 19, $56.36 a barrel. Notes and bonds. You get the 10 year down 10 ticks, 129.01, the 30 off one point and six ticks at 157.27. And check this out, man. We are trading March 2020 futures. We just rolled over. For the March bonds. March 2020. For the bonds. Yeah. Right? Is that what I, I, I read the gold report. I oh heard. Oh, my God. We're almost there. It's 20. December. I First know. trading day of December. King dollar. King dollar down 283 ticks, trading 97,992. The euro is at 110. The yen is at 109. And the pound is at 129 to 1 US dollar. What happened, man? I right. did the 9 o'clock update. And boy, I had to change things up dramatically until that 10 o'clock update because what a difference an hour can make when you get a market open at 9.30 a.m. And boy, oh boy, we've come a far away from where we were early this morning. They sold into it. 31.58 to 31.20. Yep. Pretty wild, right? It is. Um, and we actually made it to a low of 3116. You know, you're talking yeah, about you're talking right. about 42 S P points. Two. That is that's a percent and a half, folks. And not not to be the grim reaper, but last December, mark is down 10 percent. OK, we're we're 30. Oh, my God. Eight minutes into December trading, to be exact. Yeah. And you just had a percent and a half from where we were as of about pretty much, you know, what is it? Four thirty, five thirty this morning. Um, and it, let alone where we just went from nine thirty. And know? now we get the end cues up and the end cues were yeah. from. 84.57 to 82.99. Is that a lot of points? Yeah, 160 100. almost? Yeah, totally. Man, oh man. 2%. Gold. Let's yeah. go over to the gold contract. So, you, And I can't wait to bring up the bonds because what do you see this bond market, folks? So what we had last week was this. It's pretty cool. So you had, oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's going to be the wrong contract. I was going to say, we, we're, yeah. we're, we're, gonna, we're, we're moving along in a lot yeah, of the contracts we as we come right. into uh February 20 yep. in gold. All right. Okay, so I'll change that baby up too. So what we did here, we actually pushed higher last week inside the gold market after we rejected lower price. So you can see here, uh, that was pretty impressive uh, last Friday when you had half a day. Yes. Uh, 272,000 contracts and they're pushing a higher price. You know, yeah. We got a rejection of lower price out here this morning. Uh, bottom line, that wants higher price. Now this is T, so we're H O, I think. Yeah. This okay. Is, we'll have to. I'm gonna have to tune my. I was gonna say exactly. the same thing. We got a. We got a H in there. We got a yeah. zero at the end now instead of a niner. Okay. So watch this, man. This is you're gonna. It looks to me like a total rejection of lower price out here today. We had the 10 year go to 128.23. Now we're only you know eight ticks off of that yeah, right now. 129 flat. Yep. Um, bottom line though, I think you're gonna get a rejection of lower price out here and. That, of course, has to do with the aspect of uh, the market going south. And then if we go over to the dollar, you know, because the real kicker here is going to be, you know, bottom line is that the dollar looks to me like, you know, you're going to go to the lower end of the consolidation, you know, which is that uh, 97,107, I think. There you yeah. go. 97,107. Okay. We'll see if we continue to get juice. You know, I mean, that, those taps this morning yep. um, seem like that they have more to do you know, when they when they first put the tariffs on China, let's, this is, let's talk this about is Argentina the tariffs for, and yeah. Brazil. So new steel and aluminum. Right. Yep. He had taken those off, those two countries immediately. Now, if you if you look at both of their currencies, we had talked about. I, I yeah. kind of cracked up because know, we've been saying the Brazilian real right. is just extremely weak. It, it so is. there could be some credence to to what's going on there. But as you mentioned in your gold report, right, the tie-in to the Fed, and not surprising that the president continues to hammer the Fed right. to cut interest rates, 
once a week dollar. <laughs> and um, I put in, you know, in the morning market recap on the front page of TF and then this morning at a time of record unemployment. We got oh, the yeah. jobs number coming Friday, 3.6%. Yeah. We just made an all-new time high on Wednesday before Thanksgiving. Right. The market pulled back a bit on Friday. So I think that was the third consecutive all-time high in three in th all three major indices. Uh, and you have the president out there saying that we got to cut, 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 cut. But nonetheless, that's where we find ourselves to start December trading, man. And so the kicker here, this is what's going to get interesting, folks, is that if Trump wants to get into a currency war, that would be the... You know, when I actually start thinking about it, he, he want, he's getting, I mean, it doesn't matter what, what it is. He, need, he needs a fight every day somewhere. Um, and currency, that would be the ultimate, you know, because yeah. like the currency war, folks, if we get in a currency war, this is going to be, uh, you know, you're going to see metals go to the moon because what will end up happening is that devaluation will happen everywhere. Um, so and just, all, and all that means is that the lower that... Rates keep going, but that devalues because there's so much cash now, people don't know what to do. What are they, they going to do when they keep devaluing it? Yeah, I mean, the Fed's not supposed to be cut, cut, cutting at a time when the market's <laughs> at all-time highs continually, and we have record unemployment. We're about to get a jobs down, but I think it's an expectation on Friday, 190,000 added yeah. with an unemployment rate of 3.6%. Um, you're supposed to have the Fed. The reason why it's supposed to be non-political is so because every politician wants... I mean, why not, if you're president, why don't you want negative 10% interest rates, right? I oh, mean, the yeah, market yeah, will go crazy, sure. but guess right. what? That's going right. to hurt the economy. That's going to hurt the country. Eventually. In, in, right. I was going to get there, that's, exactly. Yeah, that's right. In three, that's four right. years, that's right. when things slow down and there's no stimulus at all, I mean, that's why, you know, you have things like the Great Depression. The Fed yeah. was put in place to kind of meander some you know of that. What I, you know what I didn't know? Just um, to walk through so people yeah. hadn't seen it, that is the tweet, you know, talking about President Trump saying Brazil and Argentina presiding over a massive devaluation of the currency, not good for our farmers, therefore effective immediately, restore the tariffs, steel and aluminum. And then he goes in here to tie it. The Federal Reserve should likewise act so the countries, of which there are many, no longer take advantage of our strong dollar by further devaluating their currencies. Um, you know, it's easy to look at things on a trade basis and say a strong dollar can be tough on companies trying to do business uh, and compete with countries abroad, but you don't want a very weak currency in a world economy, folks, because that says that, oh, yeah. that you're a very weak country and well, economy in the world. Well, inflation, beyond belief. Yeah. 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 What was intriguing here, folks, is that when I saw this this morning, you know, like steel and aluminum, what I didn't realize is that, so Lighthouser, who's the chief negotiator, yes. Lighthouser was the chief lobbyist for all of the steel companies before okay. he became the negotiator. Do you so, want, me, want me to put my surprised face on? No, no, I know, but I, I'm just, I know, I, I know. That, you know, after this is small, I says, oh, that's why it's so easy. All he says, hey, we, we got to put these tariffs back on them. Do you know what I mean? Sure. So, yeah. Yep. Uh, and I, you know, and then you also have um, this morning um, China responding a bit, right? With uh, no more Navy ships in Hong Kong, a bit on the U.S. Yeah. legislation back in the protesters. Might not play into a phase one trade deal. But boy, oh boy, the market uh, worried about something out there. Selling it off at the open, December for December second, actually. We'll get into Stay some of the. If you saw the retail numbers, man, just staggering. I know. And Black Friday. I know. So We're spending money, man. Billions upon did billions. Did you spend any money? I did. I didn't spend that. I was out in brick and mortar, Sarah's too, right. and online. Oh, yeah. Get it all yeah. Friday. I That's right. Thing, yeah. Today's Cyber Monday. We'll, we'll see. What I, I got a chance. There today. we go. You do. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. If you're not currently using the Taz Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The Taz Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the Task Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today.
Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's down 115. Nasdaq's off 81. S&Ps are off 20. And uh, we take a look at some of the uh, higher volume e equities out here. So uh, Morgan Stanley downgraded Roku, I guess. Roku, man. They, you want some volatility? We talk about defined risk with oil and natural gas trades. You better get some defined risk if you're trading Roku, man, one way or the look other. It's down $26. Waking up down 26 bucks. That's why people pretty, love options, man, because intense. boy, oh yeah. boy. Um, and look at what it's trying to do. It was, it was going back to test the highs. So it got up there. I won't count Friday. So, no, yeah, for Wednesday even, nope. 16 that's, million. No, I think you're one off. That's, that's Wednesday. Oh, that's right. Okay, yeah. so let's count that one. Yeah. 19 million going into 23 and going into 34. And then I it mean, just gives it up. What's crazy is that you go back. What day was this? Yeah, you don't have to go far back, man. November 6th, <laughs> you go from basically the same thing. You go from 143 yep. down to 116. That's a high volume low there, man. You That's make it going. all the way back up to 170. For some reason, this is stuck. What is it? 168, and you're back at 135, man. You're back yep. now below where we were, which the low there is 136.81. And the, uh, to pull it up, I mean, Morgan Stanley basically saying that everything that you could think of is priced into the stock is what I was reading about. Downgrade to underweight, equal weight. Morgan Stanley wrote that the streaming video platform could see growth, um, revenue and profits slow meaningfully next year. Um, risk to growth expectations not reflected in the current valuation levels. I mean, it's just, it is, you know. They're up 400% this year. That's it, yeah. I mean, well, we, just, we just pulled up why, yeah. you know, in terms of that chart, in terms of what was going on. Pretty wild. It is, man. Let's go take a look at some of the other higher volume equities out here and see what we get. Go for it. Yeah, Tiger, Best Buy. I'm just clicking line. around as exactly. you're going through it, man. Yeah. So you got uh, Bank of America's up 18 cents. You got Apache uh, is down 260. They're having some problems on oil patch. Oil, uh, Apple's off a buck 60. Nothing else is heavy out there. So let's look at this one. Yeah. Best Buy. <coughs> Excuse me. Target, Walmart, Lulu. Yeah, Lulu. Okay, so they it. won it, huh? Black Friday weekend sales grew 5.4% to a record. Boy, that is a big number. Is that a $69 billion? billion. It is. Um, sales moved online before Cyber Monday, growing 20% on Friday. And I would 
definitely agree. Just from my personal experience, I mean, yeah. you didn't feel like you had to get up and go to the stores, right? I did. Yeah. I, I was just telling you right. at the break. I made it to some of the stores. Um, but you really didn't have to. Stores are waking up to the fact that why would you wait? Now, today's a big day as well. Right. Uh, all the sales were kind of like a Friday and a Monday type yes. deal, you right. know, and they will probably end today. But guess what? They're still going to have some, but this is a, more of an online deal. And uh, and they have a shortened holiday shopping. I think it's six less shopping yes. days, right, from, right. from Thanksgiving to Christmas. Well, they started off well. <laughs> oh, boy, man. And I believe I saw the number. Yeah, so here's online $7.4 billion online on Friday alone. Yeah. That is staggering when you think about that. It used to be the scenes of hysteria, right, in terms of uh, people basically fighting, breaking down doors. You know, you now have seven billion dollars online just on that Black Friday alone, and um, pretty wild, man. It is pretty wild, you know. And I wonder what they get, but I guess those are the big winners, they say. And um, you got Apple down there saying their Black Friday AirPod sales appear robust. Yeah, I'm sure they all kind of did well in terms of this. Let's go to Mike in Merrimack, New Hampshire. Hey, Mike, what's going on, brother? Hey, good morning, Tom. Hey, I'm curious, so you uh, your got... take on natural gas. I'm not in it, but uh, wondering where you think that's headed. Natural gas, a widowmaker. <laughs> Talk about volatility in Roku, volatility yeah. in natural gas. So let, let's take a look. He wants to look at UNG, which is the U.S. Natural Gas Fund, but I want to bring up NG. Let me bring up the futures first. So NG, let's see. We're not in December. There we go. Okay, so... We got about 10 inches of snow in your old neighborhood up here. I know. I was just going to ask you. 10 inches? Uh, is that what you have already? Yes. And it's still snowing, right? Yes. Oh, my God. It's December. Oh, boy. Okay, so this is a mess. One second. N N G N G. I got to bring up the generic contract. Okay. okay. So that had quite a day on Friday. Holy cow. I mean, you just got wiped out. Not you. I'm just saying no, the market, natural man, gas oh, man. did. Yeah, I wouldn't touch this thing, man. I mean. Yeah, you think it's going to go continue lower? Yeah, the low is game. 202 is game, man. That that type of bar. Now, I get this on a weekly, but I can put it on a daily. That's a 50-cent bar. And just so you understand something, a dollar in the natural gas market is $10,000 a contract. <laughs> Yeah, so that was like about it's, 44 cents just in that last week. Yeah, that's just intense. High to low. If we go over to UNG, so we go to UNG, the ETF that he's actually looking at. Put it back. I can do the monthly because we just ended November. Oof, that's it. Can't right, get, so I, I was like, I can't see, point, I can't I'd, see I'd anything. In, to get back to two I want like three years. Okay. What is that? Uh, yeah. I w don't touch this thing, man. This is... A, okay. Yeah. And you know what's so wild, folks, is that just, just you know, Mike, just, I, I can absolutely see why you want to touch it. Because I can tell you, up until... I traded natural gas a lot. Uh, if we go back 10, 15 years, I traded for a good five years in a row. And what happened is that... And this is when natural gas was a lot higher. Because even the... I remember the... I had to put up like 12000 a contract. And, okay. Um, but what happened is this, is that it, it, there's such a disconnect between even, you know, technically sometimes how it's set up and fundamentally. I'd say to myself, oh, my God, hold it. It's freezing all over the country. they got to use natural gas. Well, guess what? No, they didn't. <laughs> you know, and so it, it just seems to me that natural gas in general is not a great thing to trade. And I'm, I'm you know, saying that. And not just personally, but I've even since not trading it, I haven't traded it for a good five years now, right? And there's a disconnect, man. And it has to do with this contract here only has to do with where this is stored. It doesn't have to do with, like, what will end up happening. You'll hear me on the air saying, oh, okay, so what ends up happening is that, um, like, Boston, like, you know, I bet we'll hear, okay, that in the next three or four days, that natural gas up in your area, Mike, okay, is going to go exponential in price, but that's the spot market. And sometimes it goes up 200, 300% for two or three days at a time, then it comes back down versus this market here, meaning 
where it's stored, because natural gas you can't get easily from one place to another place. Sure. I, I think that's the biggest problem. Do you know what I'm saying? And once, yeah. just to tie it in, once, like you're saying, then once it's cold, they know it's going to be cold. You know what I mean? It's the unpredictable part of things of where it's going to be maybe in two, three, four weeks or what's going on right. that you don't know yet, because once it's snowing 10 inches, the market had priced that one in. But just to pull up the last part that I found interesting. So you did say, you know, for every dollar in here, it'd be $10,000. So right. every 50 cents, it'd be $5,000 you'd have for exposure. And the, you're putting up only about twenty four fifty to 2700 bucks. So just last week alone, and just how that would play into that type of market, um, a wipeout. you have to consider it, right? right? Because you have people putting up um, 2607 you know, call it 2700 bucks. Right. And so basically, if the contract moves 27 cents, they're wiped out, right. and you had 45 cents of movement last week, yep. that plays into things for sure. Totally. Thank you, gentlemen. Cook it, brother. Thanks, Mike. Stay, Stay warm, warm. Stay yeah, safe out there, man. Totally. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Come right back. Folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is down 151. We get the Nasdaq off 99. S&Ps are off 25. And uh, let's get over. We got a couple uh, targets that uh, was explained to us that you get a couple. What happened actually last week, folks, is pretty cool inside the metal market. 
the gold and silver equities, you had a couple of them get do confirmed ABC structures on the way up. And one of them was Pan American Silver. And now you're going to get follow through uh, out here, which is pretty uh, amazing because on Friday, where we had half a day, this uh, did 2.3 million shares, which is really impressive. Definitely. You know, and when Pan American likes to move, man, it likes to move. So it's going to get intriguing here. You know, flat out is that, let me pull this back actually. Where do I get that on? Put it on three years. Because it looks like it's breaking out of this consolidation. I need a little more juice, but yeah, it's not really consolidation, but well, 18, 1875, that's going to put, that's going to put, that puts game high at uh, 2159. Yeah. So that's going back uh, August of 2016. And then Newmont. Can I just before you, yeah. what is that high that we're coming into? Are we over that? Yeah, 1948. Interesting level. In terms yeah. Of coming right now. No, it is. Yeah. And it's we're gonna just need four some pennies juice above. There. Yeah. On the weekly, we're going to need some volume. And then Newmont, I didn't see this one, but, oh, this is nice. Okay, so Newmont's going to do an ABC up also. So, yeah, 5 million shares, you're at 1.6, more than likely you're going to get an ABC up. So what's that? That's 38.75, 36, so what, uh, 275 or something? Yeah, that's gets you about 40 bucks, right? Yeah, 40 Forty dollars and fifty cents. Good. So more than likely you could, that thing's gonna run to forty one uh, twenty five. So there, there's uh what else was strong? Let me do the Franco Nevada. A couple of streamer stocks, the, the royalty stocks, still haven't got enough juice in them. Well, Franco Nevada is up fifty cents now. That needs more volume. Royal Gold, which got hurt from one of its mines, that needs more volume too. Yeah, both of the both of those stocks need more volume. You know, we'll we'll see how that uh, shakes out, but. I like the setup. I like the setup. Uh, oh, Great Panther's in trouble. Oh, we, we had a question here about Great Panther. You're going to be really, if you're in Great Panther, man, there's something wrong with that stock. You have the gold report. You know, I've been talking about this for a long time. Um, this never should have broke lower with the kind of volume we did, 42 cents. Now, you don't have to be a technician to find the downtrend on that chart. Yeah. Man. And in, a, we, in an area where we've had some action. Gold right. Recently. So I think it's 30 cents it can go to. Let me see this thing, man. This well, is, I'd say it can go to zero. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's, there's something not right with yeah. this stock, man. Was that's 14. Yeah, it's 30. I mean, if it's so, going to 30, what's the difference between going to 30 and zero? If we can pull up, what's the, what's the market cap on this stock once you get to this level? Because I always like to check out, once you get to a critical level of 130 million bucks, man. 132 million. Yeah. If, if this thing was worth yeah. any real money, you could have a, a gold company just come in and buy it. I would think <laughs> it's so wild. I know. And, you know, they so. take in 267 million. But yet, they're still showing the first quarter is still going to have a loss. So there's something yeah. not quite right with that, with that equity, man. That's yeah. that's the bottom line. So what kind of what kind of debt do they have? What kind of risk do they have to that level? The ore. Yeah, that's right. What's yeah. the what does it cost them to, to get that ore yeah. out? Because what you what you definitely have here, there's strong gold and silver stocks out here, man. You know what oh, I mean? yes, there's, for sure. There's, you know, and so that's important to understand inside that market. You know, you just yeah. you, you just can't go saying, okay, straight across, uh, it's gonna be a good scene. Let's go in the what do you want to do? No, no, I was just oh. going to mention, there's a lot of people in that industry, right, that understand things fundamentally better than you or I, as yeah. in they just, like, that's what they do for a living 24-7, right? right? They run gold companies. Yeah. If you saw a company like that continuing to move lower, and it was only $130 million to buy, you could, I mean, that's only, you put up 20% equity to buy a company and put on loan. You're talking about only $25 million that you have to put up to buy the entire company. Right. Somebody would do it if there was a, 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 a huge devaluation. I just when when especially because it's a producer. That's what I mean. When right. stocks get to that low of a price right. level, you know, and they're right. that low of a market cap, you really got to be careful because people in the industry would just scoop it up at that level if it was that easy. Yeah. Even with stock. That's Even what I mean. Stock. That's what I mean. Right. Exactly. Right. right. Yeah. Uh, inside the Dow Industrials, uh, taken away from it today, you get Visa putting negative twenty five points, Boeing twenty, Microsoft eighteen, Apple fourteen. Nothing heavy. What's up with Visa, man? People yeah. didn't spend enough on their plastic cards this weekend, or what? Either that, or they no, I, I kid. PayPal's but... and all these other things. Who knows? It's quite a little pullback. Maybe we can jump into the news yeah. after we take a look, because I'm curious what hit them. I thought it would be. It <laughs> well, yeah, not quite a pullback when you put it on a, a monthly long-term yeah. chart. So 2010, you're the at credit $17. card industry is doing just fine. Yeah, exactly. What is the news on them, if you could, after? Yeah. 
Let's uh, see. They had nothing. Yeah. And you know, the, the, the credit card business is not getting smaller, folks. No. <laughs> I mean, that's one of the more worrisome things I would say about the economy is the amount of uh, money that people are putting on their credit cards and the amount of maybe auto loan debt, some of those areas where we're at record unemployment, but people are just barely getting by and people can't seem to stop spending money. And right. though, you know, you know, you can't stop spending money, you're barely making a wage in terms of, you know, this gig economy type deal. So you right. have a job, benefits are decreasing across the board yep. from middle class. Yeah. You're putting money on the credit card. I mean, auto loans, what's the average new car loan right now? It's like $40,000 or right. something. It's, it's years, staggering, yeah. right. And you know what's really wild? What I have a hard time wrapping my head around. So picture this. I don't see it. The debt, the, the last crisis, the depression crisis, okay, 2007, yeah. everyone was using their house as a piggy bank. Yes. Now, I don't see that, okay? Yes, yeah. Yet, okay? But we have three times the amount of debt in the economy right now okay. than we had in tw 2006. Okay. Three times the amount. Does that, that tie that, in business that debt? Does, it yeah. does. Okay. So, so that the business sense. could be a huge part of that. There's yeah. no doubt about that. But that's pretty, that's, no, that's yeah. an intense number. You have all these corporations taking out debt. They do. To offer buybacks <laughs> right that's not growing you know that's not infrastructure spending that's not capital spending that's just straight out borrowing money to give it back to your shareholders and then if there's a slowdown that could really hit things hard no no yeah. no let's go take a look at the euro they're selling the dollar man I mean it's it's, it's selling everything right now man the yeah. S&P is making new lows right so now the euro okay so the euro is 110 let's get some action definitely that, that looks like 112 is gonna be game the British pound, let's see what that looks like. Brexit right around the corner, man. Oh, yeah. That's flat. Yep. The yen. No, well, currency I need. Oh, this is good. Thank God this thing failed. All you golden bulls out here, we lucked out on this one. <laughs> Look at this thing. It got right over that 109.32 like nothing and then gave it up. That last night, well, let me see. I'll put it on a daily. It was last night, yeah. We went to 109.73 to 109.11. Now, that doesn't seem like much, but this is this bar here is a big deal, folks. Sure. <laughs> you know, because you, you stay over that bar, man, and that thing can go to 112, which yeah. would not be good. You know, but Can I just jump around? Yeah. I forget which one. Let me see. I, I like the four quadrants. We'll do it when we get back. Yeah, is this the one? Right? There it is. So, yeah, I mean, look at that dollar index, man. Yeah. Going from 98.4 to 97, there's your euro. I mean, I think huge part of it's euro. You're about yes. to go from 110 yeah. to 111. Right. No, no, totally. It's 60% of the dollar I mean, index. that's huge. Right. Yeah. Right. And that's probably hitting the yen a little bit as well. Yeah. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. 
Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is down 156. You get the Nasdaq off 116. S&Ps are off 24. We got to go look at Amazon. I mean, you know, this is uh, this is their time, right? It better you know? be, man. It better uh, be. And oh, look at! I was gonna say, I was, I was, I was gonna say 1,800 dollars because I happen to see they're at a very, very yeah. round number coming into things today. And uh, not so much anymore, man. A little yeah. bit of a pullback. Because it's, so it's intriguing. Like Amazon, it's seventeen seventy one. You know, five months ago you were at two thousand thirty five. Yeah. Um, it came to the top of the consolidation. Couldn't handle it. And Amazon has this high volume low that looks like it wants to get hit. And you, you get a couple of them here. So the first one, well, that's not really a high volume low. This here it is here. So. That's sixteen seventy two. Okay, it's a hundred bucks almost on the yeah. dot. So. No, and, and the real kick is going to be, you know, this was last December, I think. Yeah, it was. Now the real kicker is, is, is it is it going to, you know, go play sure. in its, you know, sandbox down here for last December? That'd be quite a lower sandbox. Well, you know what happens with Amazon too, folks? It is always so hard to buy. I've never bought it. Okay. okay? But I'm telling you, every time that I look at it, I say I want to buy it. I want to buy it, and then it. Because watch how it plunges. When Amazon plunges, Amazon went from 2050. Oh, here, let's just say that October. Yeah. 2033, that's our, the first week of October, to $1,307. Yeah. Now, the S&P, to be fair, went from, I think, 2,900 to 2,300. Oh, no, I know. Yeah. I know. Um, I, yeah. I, I get it. Believe me. It just um, wasn't an Amazon plunge, though. I no, mean, no. You had I, the S&P go down like 20%, I, and Amazon went down a little more than that. It's, but it's So just... what's cool that I look at, right, because I was jumping around today, um, at one point we had Amazon, Google, Microsoft, and Apple all kind of vying for that trillion dollar, yes. maybe. Yeah. And... Check out the charts of, so Amazon we looked at. If you can jump, yep. let's start it off with Apple. Okay. Now, Amazon right now, $177 billion company, all right? Apple, 1.17. If we could put it on a chart just to, to see yeah. how different things look. Um, and then wait till we get to Google and Microsoft, man, as well. So look at where, yeah, back it up a little bit. No, okay. I just wanted to catch even where we were in December, right? But talk about leaps and bounds above the highs that it was at, right? Yeah. Now, you had Apple go from 233 down to 142. That's a bigger pullback than Amazon had on that pullback. Yeah. But, man, oh, man, did they charge back. Now, if we go to Google, because it's staggering. Where has where Amazon been in this? Is going to be kind of the point of this. You yeah. know what I mean? Because right. you back this up and even put it just to encompass, you know, the, the real collapse in December. Uh, so there was your collapse in terms of really going from the highs yet in July of last year, 1335, everything hits the low of, call it 1,000, and now Google, we're at 1286. 
but I wanted to finish with Microsoft if okay. we could because boy oh boy they are just gangbusters to the upside and we got Microsoft right now with a market cap uh, we'll pull it yeah 1.138 so I knew they were right next to the 1.17 of Apple um, and boy they're down over 1% today so taking a little bit of a hit but just put it on a two year yeah or three year wherever just so we can and not quite the pullback, but boy, oh boy, man, you had the high there of one, um, 116, and we're now sitting at 150. Wow. To put things, what was the low? Look at this. 93. 93. Yeah. And, um, you know, comparatively, right, Amazon's high was 2050, okay? Microsoft's yeah. high was 116. We now saw a 35, we're like 33% over the high in Microsoft. If you had ever had something similar, you would be trading at like 2,600 in Amazon right now, and Amazon's trading at 1,770. Wow. Yeah. I guess so they've been lagging. They've guess, been lagging in a big way. They're not taking now, over the world no, just yet. No, maybe Microsoft. You know, I don't think they're, you know, all the talk is that Amazon web server, right, that, that nobody really can compete, even, even with Microsoft, the Azure, like gaining ground. Yeah that just Amazon is chugging along and Amazon Web Service. But what's been the talk? The talk's been Target, man, crushing it. Yep. Walmart that's catching right. up. And that's, that's right. not hitting Microsoft. That's, that's hitting Amazon. It is. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Let's get a Lou in Spokane, Washington. What's going on, brother? Hey, hey Tom and Tommy. How was Thanksgiving? Oh, good, good. 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 A lot, lot, lot of turkey. Yeah. <laughs> turkey Perfect. stuff and potatoes. Totally, Gotta love man. it. Definitely. <laughs> Well, you know, Tom, you, you mentioned that bet that this guy put on for $4,000 silver in 18 months. What was it, one and uh, a half? Of gold. Or, oh, yeah. Well, I, I was listening to your so, show on Wednesday, yeah, man. So what happened, folks, is that well, I got to pull it up again. What, 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 it, it's 18 months. 18 months, he put up $1.75 million for a strike price of... Uh, I think it was 4000 at 4000 yeah. Because you were even saying uh, that's, that, that's pretty intense, You man. know, maybe we, if you got 3200 you might make money or something right. like it, that. It, it's going to go, yeah, because even, even if gold's in an ABC structure up, it only brings us like twenty five or 2600 But guess what? We, there's no doubt, Lou, someone's putting their money up there, man. The ironic what? thing is that if we do get in a currency um, devaluation, if that's what Trump wants to do, well, guess what? You know, we can be there pretty quick. Yeah. Well, you know, the the way I look at it, it's not a bad bet at all. I mean, I don't know the specifics, but, you know, r r range of uh, order, I'd say it's not. Because Moody's just came out with what they're calling a worldwide credit downgrade. Now, what the heck does that mean? That would you know? mean, to me, that would mean that every central bank is going to have to print money so that the bigger loans that all these companies have can get turned over and not paid back. See, and extend see, Tom, and pretend, and, right? Sure. But that's, that, you know, that's, they're, they're into that, so. Well, that's the whole thing on this bet, right? That the, They just came out with the new figures on the world debt, $255 trillion. Now, personally, I think that's there's a lot of debt off the books that's not counted in that. But even there, if there, you just take that. No, there's, there's no doubt. What, what Lou just said, this is what is different also, folks, from 2007, uh, 2004 or 5. The shadow banking is much bigger. And shadow banking would be considered the black rocks of the world. The, I mean, there's so many other non-banking yes. entities that lend hundreds right. of billions providing of dollars. Providing capital, providing yeah. debt. Right, right. yeah. And in, in a lot of that is is this off the books betting that's holding down the metals, I believe. Yeah, you know what? They're the, basically the, basically the, over the, the counter. The, me the metals oh, market what, what is what you'd call over the counter uh, contracts. Yeah, no, not listen, showing up anywhere. Yeah, the metals market is so small that guess what? The the futures traders can hold it to a certain point. There's no doubt about that. Now that being said. They'll hold it till they don't hold it, and then they'll run it. <laughs> sure. You know, well, that, see, that's, that's this $4,000 bet. This guy's figuring that's going to happen right. in the next year and a half. Right. No, I know. I know. Yeah. Well, you know, I don't think that's a bad bet. I mean, I, I wouldn't make it if I, if I had a couple million dollars. But, you know, maybe if I had $100 million, I would. That, that's, you know, I think...
it's over the top, but guess what? That's what makes markets. It doesn't matter. I hope he's right. Because <laughs> if he's right, we're all going to freaking retire, and that's it. You always got to keep in mind that it could be a hedge, man. If you have $250 million in the market, you say, man, if, if all hell breaks loose, yeah. And, right. and 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 you know right. we get some kind of debt collapse crisis. Right. I, I got a back pocket. You know, With get monster. out of jail free. Lou, have a great one, man. Have a safe one. Thanks, Lou. Okay, you too, guys. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. You are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. sign up today. If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. So, auction bet at... Four thousand dollars, right? So this is just to pull it up. And when are we talking about here? June twenty twenty one. Yeah. And uh, it's nineteen. Uh, nineteen. Listen to me. It's two thousand nineteen right now. So that's you know, like you were saying, about eighteen months, whatever it is. So they spent uh, one point seven five million. They got them at three dollars and fifty cents an ounce. You buy it at four thousand. So simple math. The break even becomes four thousand dollar four thousand and three dollars and fifty cents right. for break even. They get a little bit of math. Four thousand, you lose it all because you just get to your strike price. Right. It gets to that four thousand three. You break even. It's worth one point seven five million. You get back your capital. It gets to forty one hundred. You get fifty million. It makes it to five thousand five hundred million. Holy cow! Yeah, I mean, of course. All right, just yeah. to put this is like uh, playing Powerball almost. Not oh, yeah. quite, right? Not quite, Not, but, but but pretty close, man. Um, so it it is quite a bet if it's a standalone wager. 
And I would guess that whoever made this wager has significant exposure to other things in the market besides just gold, because if gold hits 4,000, let alone 5,000, that's what I, yeah, right. oh, there's something wrong with a lot going on yeah. in our economy, whatever right. it is, for sure. Right. Um, and you that, see, when you, when you bring up, folks, if I, if I bring up the, the long-term contract, I've talked about this before, gold can be in an ABC structure on the way up from the beginning of the bull market. Sure. But that's still only going to get you like 20-something. That's why. I mean, if we even hit 2,500 gold, that's, that's, and, and, we might be in trouble in the economy, yeah, let alone and, and five to four or 5,000. Right. Go ahead. And that's the ABC structure up. You know, it's, uh, what, that's 1,900. Yeah, so it's, it's 17, a 1700 A to B, so that's it's 2700, 20, right, approximately. And just you know, to and put that, it, that's but, if it's an ABC up. But that A to B leg took 10 years. Yes. So so keep that too. No, and, there that, we go. and it would take another 10 exactly. years. Exactly. That, that's right. Stay right there, folks. Think a swim coming up, Basil Chapman. I'll be back this afternoon. Thanks, Basil. Thanks, man. Yeah, go get them, folks.